Great to be with you, Peter Ballas, your cardiologist. Now, I just wanted to get on and have a very brief video on a new development if you have a condition known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Let's have a bit of a look at what this actually is. Now, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, if you have it, you'll know about it. It's a genetic condition that predisposes the heart muscle itself to become thickened and that therefore causes symptoms. Now, when we say hypertrophy, we mean that the muscle becomes bigger and the enlargement of the heart muscle, particularly the part between the left and the right ventricles, that's called the septum, becomes thicker as a result of a genetic mutation and therefore can cause a buildup of high pressure inside the heart, which can also then cause problems with the valve, particularly the mitral valve, and that can also leak. So if you have a condition known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, you might have shortness of breath when you push yourself, or you can't push yourself as much as you have in the past if it's deteriorating, you may have palpitations, your heart racing, you may go into a condition known as atrial fibrillation, or you might have the buildup of fluid around your body. So it's a quite a disabling condition in some people. There is often a genetic or a family history, but it's not always necessarily the case. And we are getting better at detecting the genes that contribute to this, but there are times where we might do genetic testing for DNA analysis in patients who do have this condition and we don't find any mutations. Nevertheless, there are characteristic findings that we see on an ultrasound of the heart, the echocardiogram, and an MRI scan of the heart. The mainstay therapy for this condition is to manage symptoms, and we particularly do that by managing heart rate. So you might be on a class of medicines known as beta blockers, and these are all ways that we have to control symptoms by reducing the pressure inside the heart and reducing your heart rate. In some situations, there may be a need to consider the implantation of certain devices or pacemakers or defibrillators even, and uh, they can be very, very useful. But if symptoms are ongoing and the thickening of the heart muscle is becoming worse, and in particular if it's having an impact on the valve, the mitral valve causing significant leaking, then we look at pretty much invasive strategies to manage this. And the mainstay therapy has been that of surgery or septal myectomy where a surgeon goes in through open heart surgery and cuts out part of that septum, part of that muscle and in some situations can repair the mitral valve and by cutting out some of that muscle we obviously reduce the thickness of the heart muscle and that improves symptoms considerably but there is a lot to get through with major open heart surgery. There has also been an option to use an injection of a small dose of alcohol. It's almost 100% pure alcohol that we can put down the coronary artery branch. And that essentially causes a heart attack. And alcohol causes sclerosis, causes hardening, causes essentially blockage and uh, scar tissue to form in this small branch or the septal branch, rendering it inefficient and essentially shrinking the heart muscle. But again, that is an invasive procedure. Recently, there's been a very novel medication known as Mevacamptin released that has very, very good application at helping to improve and reduce symptoms. It's a novel drug that acts specifically on the heart muscle to reduce the size of the heart muscle and can be very, very efficient. And this was tested in a reasonably large randomized study where patients received either a placebo or sugar pill versus the active drug. And in those patients who were receiving the active drug, Mervacampton, they had a significant improvement in what they were able to do in terms of their functional capacity, their ability to, to walk longer distances without being limited. So if you do have this condition, and you are struggling, please do discuss this with your cardiologist, whether this might be an alternative or an option for you. There is an important consideration, because the medication actually works to reduce the impact or strength of heart muscle, then in a very small population of patients, there is a small risk of developing 
weakening of you know, pretty much the entire heart muscle, causing a condition known as heart failure. We can easily detect that and pick that up by monitoring your echocardiogram or your heart ultrasound regularly. So it's a very novel drug. It targets this condition via medication, where traditionally we have relied on things like surgery to improve symptoms, and it may be useful in some patients with this condition. So hopefully you found that useful. If you do have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, have a chat with your physician about what this medicine might offer you. Until the next video, bye for now.